Well, this might make you think twice the next time you pull a photo off the internet and post it on your Facebook page or business website. More and more people are receiving letters that accuse them of copyright violations. And they tell the iTeams Ryan Kath what happens next feels pretty scary. Pay thousands of dollars or face the threat of a federal lawsuit. Whether it's a spontaneous game of curling or the more traditional lesson plan... Throw a stone, see if you can get it in the house. Katie Shamitz, who leads a small private school in Norwell, loves to share her thoughts on kids and learning, but was stunned by one recent response to her blog. It felt really intimidating. She's talking about a letter regarding a post she wrote several years ago about sportsmanship. On the page, she'd included this photo of a crying toddler with a Patriots logo. So I threw it up on my blog. It had a very small following um, and forgot about it. That is, until the school director got the letter, accusing her of using the photo without permission. It demanded action within 10 days, ordered her to immediately remove the image, and pay a settlement of more than $1,400. Then you can Luckily, Katie was already working with an attorney and paid much less to make the case disappear. The intention is to intimidate, and in a lot of cases, it really does succeed. Rob Pellegrini is an attorney who's helped a growing number of clients like Katie deal with the copyright letters. What they do is they just are trolling out there looking for a quick check to be written. He's even fighting a case of his own. A settlement demand of more than $8,000 for using this estate planning image on his firm's website. The letter warns the copyright violation could result in $150,000 of damages if it goes to federal court. This was actually taken from a website that claims to have free artwork. Sure enough, when the I-Team typed estate planning into Google Images and then used the filter that says free to use or share even commercially, that photo was the very first search result. When we asked Google about this, a spokesperson told the I-Team the company does not confirm the status or license of images that appear on such searches, and it's ultimately up to the users to ensure they comply with the terms. Well, it feels to the consumer like entrapment. Right, because all they saw was free. But the BU law professor says it's become a lucrative business model for online ambulance chasers who pounce when people fail to read the fine print. Always assume every photo has a copyright. For Katie, the school director, it's a valuable lesson she can pass along to her students. If I don't take the picture myself or create the image myself, I don't post it. The owner of a small pest control company found out what happens if you ignore one of these letters. He was sued in federal court for using a photo of a termite he found online and told the I-Team he had to pay thousands of dollars to make the case go away. Ryan Kaft, WBZ News.